I'm in. Locating the security panel controls. Reversing the polarity of the neutron flow. Disengaging the hostile action displacement system. Neutralising siege mode protocols. Quantum locking the underfloor lava pool. And finally, turning on the lights to scare off the Bastion Arada. We're in. This is Stephen Moffat's secret writing layer at the heart of a hollowed out volcano underneath 221B Baker Street. This is where he writes. This is where he does his hair. This is where he eats. And this is where he keeps his specimens. To business. We've broken in to steal the most valuable thing in the universe, the scripts to Doctor Who Series 9. This TARDIS really isn't big on the inside. No? Uh, we uh, seem to be experiencing some technical difficulties, so uh, instead we'll bring you everything we know about Series 9, Episodes 3 and 4. The episodes, as yet untitled, are written by regular contributor Toby Whithouse. Alongside four Doctor Who writing credits, Whithouse has also written for Tortured and created Supernatural series Being Human. It's no wonder Stephen Moffat is describing this episode as brilliantly creepy. Filming began at the start of January, with guest cast including Paul Kay from Game of Thrones and Colin McFarlane from Tortured, Children of Earth, and Sophie Stone, who's the first deaf actor to graduate from London Drama School WADA. And that's literally all we know. So, he caught me, and now I'm a specimen in Stephen Moffat's specimen pod. Oh well, to pass the time, let's look at some of the cool stuff you've sent in. Joe paid a visit to the set of Series 9, bumped into Peter Capaldi and Ingrid Oliver, and sent us these great pics. He also asks if Sergeant Tom Osgood is Osgood's dad. Who knows, Joe? Who knows? We love a good collection at the fan show, and Brian from Wigan wowed us with these fab pics of his Doctor Who themed bedroom. And don't forget, you can get in touch at dwthefanshow at bbc.com or tweet us at dwthefanshow. And now, our cosplayer of the week. It's Roxas as the 10th Doctor, TJ as Rose and Jordan as a unit soldier. The 10th Doctor's coat is handmade by Roxas who also made the thing that goes ding. And they tell us it actually dings. Excellent work, guys. And finally, check out our favourite clips in this week's YouTube Annotation Attack. Well, that's what we've got time for. Hopefully Stephen Moffat lets me out. Bye!